Hi everyone, welcome back to Dreamy Air. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get these loose natural curls. So if you want to know how I got these pretty loose curls that look super natural, keep on watching. So after I get out of the shower, I towel dry my hair a bit. I use this leave-in moisturizing cream. This one's really good. It really softens and also adds a lot more moisture in my hair since it is bleached and it gets really dry so i've went through maybe like two bottles of these and i think they changed the formula of this it is in a new packaging it used to be in like a white bottle and i did like the older one better it felt a lot more nourishing and moisturizing but um that one had i think like nut oils in it so this one i don't think has that yeah, this one's so it's allergy free. I guess that's even better. So I'll link this down below. Then I use this heat protectant. This is the best, best heat protectant I've ever used. This is the Fanola brand. Like once you get this, you don't need anything else when using heat. I used to use like the ones that sprit out like bits of um like liquid, but this one, this one is life-changing it sprays out like a mist Just do that. not only does it protect from heat but it smooths out the hair so nicely can you see the difference it's like made my hair super sleek shiny and then i split it into two again tool that I use. I use the tong clamp one. And I love this. I use this every time I curl my hair. I don't use anything else. I used to use like the regular hair curler without the clamp and just kind of go around it. And that one made my hair so bouncy. Like I wanted natural loose curls, but I could never achieve that really natural look with that type of um, heat tool but this one I figured it out this is the best because sometimes when you use the regular curlers it makes your hair like really bouncy and kind of makes your face look squished and well it made my face look chubbier because the curls just were huge and it just didn't really complement the face so this is the silver bullet I just got this online and it's in a nice like rose gold I put the heat up to 140 sometimes 150 if I'm in a rush but let's do 140 today also with my hair I can't really do super high heat but for this um, look you don't really need a lot of heat because it's super natural it heats up really quick like less than a minute Split it in another two. Grab about this much. First, clamp it like this, kind of not um, horizontally, but a little more on the vertical side. Up it in this position, and then I twirl it around behind until this part is pricking out. And then wait like maybe five, six seconds. Slowly pull it out. Unravel it and twirl it around again while pulling and dragging it out a little. We'll do it up a bit later. Let's put it behind me. Clamp. Twist behind until this is poking out. And then kind of like pull and drag and unravel and twirl it around and drag this section 
pop it again. Clap. frames are a crucial part of this whole look because it's like the front part you frame with your face so i'm gonna show you guys how to do this at the end and now let's do this side so for my right side it's a little bit different in terms of like the rotation of the curl so I am right-handed. See her in my left hand, bring it from behind, clap, and then twist. You want to make sure you twist it so that this part is facing forward. And unravel it and then pull and twist again. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. I was really confused before as well, but with a few times of practice, it's really quite simple. So sometimes I like to fix the ends of the curl if I've messed up. So I'll curl it, slightly release the clamp and drag it down. sections I like to grab a fairly decent chunk not too thin just so it could look a bit more fuller so I'll clamp right where like near my eyebrow twist and then leave it for a few seconds and then drag outward just straight and just lightly pulse and pull slowly that's how i get that kind of wave frame so this really frames my face because once the curl hits here it makes your face look nice and small and snatched because it just nicely sits there <laughs> in this perfect section and then I could make this a stronger curl by like leaning in a little longer or more natural if I wanted to. And again with the right side it is a bit different rotations. It takes a little while to get a hang of. Open the clamp and go through the bottom and then rotate outward instead of doing it from the top here. This is like the look of it and that's about it. This is how I curl my lashes. I mean, oh. <laughs> this is how I curl my hair. Now I like to grab the 
comb. I like to use the one with like little tiny bristles coming out of it too. I feel like that brushes out a lot nicely. This is my favorite part. I love this look. So, brushing it out makes such a big difference. And then now this is when I would go and like touch up spots that I want a bit more curled, like this section over here. And sometimes this top section can look a little bit flat. So I'll go in again and just grab a small section. some hairspray. I use this one right here. So if I want my frames um, to kind of stay out of my face and be lifted up, what I like to do is just hold it up like this and spray it like that. And as you can see, that'll keep the hold really nice. This creates a lot of volume as well. I don't always use hairspray because I kind of just like my hair nice and soft. But if I want the extra hold, I would do a light spritz of it. And this is the look. guys enjoyed this video and learn a little something on how to get these natural loose waves i will link all the products that i use in this video down below and comment like and subscribe thank you for staying till the end and watching my video you are truly appreciated i love you all and i'll see you in my next one bye